G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing my tips for round 15 of the season. Let's have a bit of a look to see the ladder leader and Langs is back on top of the table. Studi and Luke absolutely kicking goals, snapping at the heels. There is a notable omission though and Josh uh, has left the building. After some interesting feedback uh, last week, some interesting controversy where he didn't enter in any of uh, his games for the first two weeks. Langs obviously didn't have the best week of all time, um, and he still received a score for them. Uh, so first off uh, here, I've actually got the ability to administer that. Uh, that was news to me uh, after I had the conversation with uh, some mates about it. So I've now changed the setting so that if you don't enter your, your picks in for the game, you get zero, which is what it should be. Uh, Josh, I don't think you're watching, mate, but if you are, get get back in. Uh, wasn't having a go at you. Uh, more so just you know, ensuring that uh, I was more frustrated about you don't pick a game and then you get a result for it, which I believe is completely wrong. Um, but I'm going to put my hand up and I didn't have the correct settings, didn't know I had the ability to. So, uh, yeah, I'll put my hand up and apologize on that front for, yeah, not having it. I had the ability to set it as needed and, um, yeah, I didn't and I have changed it now so that if you don't enter in a game, you'll get zero, which is how I believe it should be. Uh, irrespective of me entering all of my tips uh, each and every week, still sitting 19th on the table with a lot of work to do. Um, so, rant over there, but Josh, get you're probably not watching, mate, but get back amongst it. You are all good. Now that I've uh, configured the settings appropriately, all right, let's get stuck into it. Big round of footy, last week of buys, hopefully, possibly, let's have a look at round 16. Yes, back to nine games as of next week. All right, we start off... Friday night, Carlton and Geelong. This one will be at the MCG, Carlton's home game here. Geelong, I think they've lost five of their last six, and it's been tough uh, after such a promising start with seven and zip. Uh, you know, it wasn't, uh, yeah, it hasn't been an ideal second part of the, the season, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, but I'm pretty comfortable to go Carlton here. I, they cannot possibly lose this game. Um Absolutely. They've got uh, players back into it from injury and also, you know, they've been in really good form off the back of having good availability. I'm sure the Cats will get a couple back, possibly Guthrie, possibly Dangerfield. We'll, we'll see how the selection committee goes there. Um, but, yeah, just with Geelong being out of touch, Carlton getting back into some good form. The way in which we won the game earlier in the year against Carlton, I don't, I don't think would stack up um, if you played that game, you know, 10 times over. Um, they didn't really kick straight, but they had field position and everything. So, yeah, they did allow to score a little bit too easily. I don't think that'll happen again. Then Saturday, we have Port Adelaide hosting Brisbane at the Adelaide Oval. I don't really know who's favourite and who's not favourite here because Brisbane uh, on the betting markets are favourite. But then if you look at people tipping, they seem to be going the way of Port Adelaide. Port's home game, they... Haven't um, I think when they have won it was probably when Brisbane weren't going well, but a lot of Brisbane's games and wins have been at the Gabba, and most of the time it's whoever plays at their home ground wins. So I will go Port at their home deck. A big win last year as well, early in the season against the Lions to yeah give them an early punch, uh, and then late in the year Brisbane at the Gabba got the job done. So I'm going to go Port Adelaide, although yeah it could be interesting with butters and stuff, but we'll. Yeah, we'll see how that all transpires. Giant Stadium, we have GWS hosting Sydney. What a game this will be. Battle of the Bridge. Um, yeah. Um, how could I not tip Sydney? Uh, they're bound to lose one eventually. I don't know when it's going to be. It could be grand final day. I, I don't know. They've lost the last three grand finals, uh, which no one ever talks about. Their last three grand finals, even. Uh, GWS, good win over Port, but yeah, they just don't look uh, as accomplished as, say, a Sydney side. When it doesn't really matter where they are on the ladder, it'll be a good competitive clash, but yeah, Sydney just have the answer to everything, and it's their premiership to lose. So, And as I said before, they have lost their last three grand finals. Over to 
the MCG, we have Melbourne up against North Melbourne. I oh, so badly want to tip North Melbourne. Really badly want to tip them. But, yeah, Melbourne surely have to, yeah, have a crack here. Petrarca's out. That's massive for them. Uh, North have had some good form of, of recent. Whilst they didn't get the win last week and deserve the win, really, um, minus some crap umpiring that always goes the way of Collingwood in those games. Should have won the last two. And, yeah, it, it's a tough one. I, I just think, yeah, Melbourne have to win. If they don't win, I'm not tipping them for the rest of the year. So they, it could well and truly fall apart. I still think they've got too much talent. Um, but, yeah, North will give them a good shake and bake, no doubt. Over to the Sunday games, we've got Essendon hosting West Coast. This one's at Marvel. I'm pretty comfortable to go with Essendon here. Even though they lost their last couple, Eagles have lost their last three. They don't travel super well. Don't know if Harley Reid's playing or if he's is or isn't playing. Who knows? But I still think Essendon will be too strong at home to get the job done. Final game of the round, we have Fremantle hosting the Gold Coast Suns. Um, Gold Coast, geez, what have they been up to? Three of their last five. But if it's outside of Gold Coast or it's outside of Darwin, they can't get it done. be interesting to see how Fremantle respond from their poor performance against the Doggies. I think they'll be breathing fire and we'll be able to get the job done. Tough road trip there. So I'll be tipping the Dockers. Okay, let's have a look. So I've gone Carlton by 22. And last Friday night, I was almost, almost there. I was, yeah, there you go. It uh, has a bit of commentary. I went with... The Lions by 20, and pretty sure they won by 21 or something like that. I was one point off uh, either way, so or it might have been 19. Oh, I can't remember. I was one point off, so close. So we're on Carlton by 22, Port Adelaide to win at home. Then we've got Sydney, Melbourne, Essendon, and then Fremantle to round out round 15. All right, those are my tips for round 15, guys. Uh, chuck yours in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Join the tipping competition. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you can keep up to date with how well I'm going. And right now, 19th out of 29th, uh, yeah, there is a fair bit of ground to make up. So I'll keep chipping away, round by round, and run out of time. So there you go. Thanks, crew. Appreciate you watching on. I'll catch you on the next video.